Hi everyone, thanks for clicking and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to load a flight plan, a SID, an airway and followed uh, by a star or a, uh, an instrument approach. So as you can see in front of us is the G1000, Garmin G1000, the beautiful one. And we have here the MFD. So say we are here in OTBD International Airport and we would like to go so to select uh, departure, instrument departure. So first, come to here. Proc or procedure, and it gives you three options. Select approach, arrival, and departure. This way, departing, you go to departure, and click enter. We check the correct airport, and here are all the published departure. With the big knob, we switch keep scrolling down to the departure we are interested in. For, exa for example, 1115 is associated with the pattern 1 Sierra, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose, for you can choose any uh, departure that is uh, appropriate for you. Pattern 1 Sierra, and go enter, and load. It is always important to cross-check the waypoints on the G1000 with the appropriate uh, chart you have. So just go with the, your copy or the Jefferson and cross-check that your G1000 has loaded all the waypoints in the uh, set star or the uh, this approach or um, sorry the instrument approach. Okay. So in this case, for um, tutorial purposes, I'll just go ahead and assume everything else. Great. Now, next, the last point on the set is pattern. Now we have the in route. Okay, now with the inner knob, small one, to the right, and now if you look at here, it says load airway. So the pattern is the, the last waypoint of the SID, or the standard instrument departure, and also the first waypoint to join the airway. So we go, load airway. And here are all the airways that start or finish from a pattern one of them. Oh, sorry, from pattern. So, for example, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the first one, Bravo 457, and click enter. Now, the exit, the entry is pattern, the airway Bravo 457, and we would like to exit this airway via which point? Let's say Denver. So I'll go ahead and click enter. And another enter. Now you see pattern, it gives me this airway to Denver. Now I'm going to go to destination. This is going to be a short flight to Bahrain only. So destination. I'm going to go ahead, select, up, select approach, enter. Switch until I get our destination airport, OBBI Bahrain International. Okay. Then enter. Select ILS. It's a ILS 30 right, for example. Enter. Vectors or the initial approach fix of uh, Bravo India Romeo depends on whatever type of instrument approach you're shooting. So let's say rate of vectors. And here you select minimums, say 230, just for the sake of this video, okay? And then load. And let's see what we have here. We have instrument departure, which is it. Follow all the way to Denver, and then we have the vectors for runway 30 right. Or perhaps we can choose an arrival. Let's see how we can do that. From Denver, we go select arrival, enter Denver 1 because the last waypoint 
uh, I wish we'll exit the airway West Denver, so let's choose Denver 1 arrival, enter, one way 30 right, and load. Let's see how, what our flight plan looks like. Okay, great. We have Denver, and then Levac, Opsas, Wigag, Nagat, and Manson. These are the uh, star, or the standard instrument of a, a vibe. And then from there, you might join the uh, vector to final, intercept, localizer, one way, three zero right, and then you glide down the glide approach all the way to the threshold. So this is the flight plan. You can just go to view wide and this the flight plan here it gives you the distances from each way point altitude you may put it them in yourself uh, the ETA estimated time in route ETA estimated time of arrival so it does everything for you the GI 1000 is a great feature for IFR navigation okay this was a quick video on how to load a flight plan said uh, in route arrival and an approach uh, if you have any questions guys please make them in the put them in the comment section below and until the next video see ya